reorganizing tables in Oracle and whether that is a good idea or not. So let's have a look at the, let's say, potential problem. Um, initially, we have a table here that lives in a data file. The blue box here is the data file and the table has multiple extents. Let's say two, the red squares are the extents of that table. And within these extents, we have Oracle blocks. And inside of the blocks, the green strings, they are the rows. Now, initially, we have inserted into the table and all blocks have been filled with rows up to PCT3. And um, the high watermark, this vertical line here, that stands for the high watermark that indicates how far rows have been inserted into that table. Now, after the inserts, we did some deletes and therefore the fill of the blocks got reduced over time. Now they are sparsely filled and um, the high watermark doesn't get back to the left side of that sketch here, even if here all these rows would have vanished from that block here, the high watermark remains here. And that could be a problem. I mean, it's not necessarily a problem, though, because if you do inserts now after the delete, then this space gets reused. So maybe there is no reason to do anything about it. But if you know that after the deletes, no further inserts will be done and you need that space back, then, well, then you have a problem. So the question mark here stands for it is not necessarily anything wrong with that situation unless you are going to do inserts again. So the solution is to reorganize the table then here. If you know there will be no more inserts that reuse that space and you need that space for other things, then this here is how the table looks after the reorganization. All the, the rows here have been nicely put at the left part of the table and the high watermark got removed here. And these extends that consumed space before that space is released. Now the data file here, the blue box stood for the data file, remember, that uh, doesn't get resized automatically if you have managed to to release that space the data file remains at the same size unless you decide to resize that data file also okay so so far the idea of it now let's look at that with an example so here i am on my demonstration system and, um, well, this is 12C, but the shown stuff works with 10G and above in the same way. Now I create first the sales table that has 1 million rows in it initially. And let's look at the content of the table. You see roughly 83,000 rows per month and 54 megabytes in size. So that's not a huge table, but it's large enough 
to make my point. Now I delete one quarter of rows and let's have a look at the table content and size now. And as you see, three months have been gone, but the table consumes the same amount of space as before. Still 54 megabytes. Now the point is, if I do insert now again, I insert another quarter of rows, then this space gets reused. So again, now we see the three new months have arrived and the table is still the same size. Now I delete again to show how the table can be now reorganized if you think it's required. So I deleted another quarter of rows, still the same size as before. And now we do the reorganization. Um, a 10G feature is that shrink space command here. It requires that row movement is enabled. You need to say that all the table sales enable row movement at first. And then the shrink space is possible. And that is an online operation. In other words, <coughs> While this shrink space is ongoing, the table is available for insert, update and delete from other sessions. Now, after the reorganization is done, you see the table now consumes only 40 megabytes of space. And that's essentially it.